Yeah, I see you just flex TV. You know, see them on 3 now, 4K and not 3D. You know it good, you Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people. Blessings to each and every one. So checking coffee, we give you guys some updates. Well, hope everybody being blessed here. Bless us always. First time over the Just Black TV. Just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell all. You're not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, new week, new beginnings. So for those out there on the street where they're working, hustling, schooling, we just ask the Almighty to protect the item. And in the meantime, please just look out on the item. Well, peeps, just like up the video, please, and thank you very much. I'll push it up in our YouTube rankings. Also, you know, say so have to watch a complete video. Freely know what I go on because you know, say so me bring the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some will say the indifference. But anyway, my people, I go kickstart with a missing child, Tuana Joseph, 13 years old, of 6 East Greater Portmore St. Catherine. She has been missing since Saturday, September 28th. She is of dark complexion, medium build. Last seen about 3 a.m. wearing a gray and white tights and green blazer. So, you've seen, just call the Portmore police. Moving over to where missing teens. This is Amoy on the left and Ravine on the right. If seen, wanna please just reach out to the nearest police station. But me just say right now, them look up pitney and them are going for bad tourists. Our people are taking them. We don't know, but boy, it have me away. So this is missing Shani Thompson, 17 years, you know, old. So Shani Thompson, a ward of the state. Uh, the Summerfield girls woman Clarendon. She has been missing since Friday, September 20. She's of brown complexion, medium, built about 5 feet 3 inches tall. Last seen about 7.10 a.m. So I've seen just call the nearest police station, you know, people. Missing again is Velmo Naris, age 71. Last seen at home on September 14, 2024. She was last seen dressed in a brown blouse, dark blue skirt, and a pair of black shoes. She's of dark complexion, slim build. So I've seen just called the Bull Bear Police at uh, the nearest police station. So, peeps, this is a Jamaican businessman in Springfield, Missouri. Yes, gets caught up in Chump's pet eating mix up. Yeah, man, Missouri. You don't know how we spell that. So, the claim by Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump and his running mate J.D. Vance that Asian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, yeah, Ohio, are eating their neighbor's pet as no cross country lines to Jamaica. So, Blue Sean Howard, who co owns, uh, manages the Jamaica Party Company in Princeville, Missouri, said he received a telephone call on September 25 where the caller, an elderly woman, angrily demanded know why he was suing Trump and Vance. Well, peeps, <laughs> you said all boy along too. So, they are eating the dogs, they are eating the cats, Chump claimed, following a social media post about missing cat, which was later found in its owner's basement. Jaja. Yo, you yeah, hear me? Jamie can't say for one day, you know, phone in him after call, you know. <laughs> hey, you can't have his opinion where, where that's a hand scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you with Jamie because you know the different, you know. So right, that's so come like say right now the businessman was so chump, you know. Cause the man have been business in Hawaii, you know. Right now, chump has said that I'm going. Yeah, yeah, you with five art attacks in three months. Yes, so Leicester Field, Clarendon resident, Kadeen uh, David Davis has had five heart attacks and a stroke since July. A 46-year-old allied healthcare nurse, Davis is currently admitted at the Maypen Hospital. She suffered the last such attack last Friday. Pete, so you have to say about this. Five heart attacks in three months. Right? Jaja, you hear me still? Me I wonder if I stress bring down them things in a star. I'm not this female and a big problem where nobody knows, but boy, something wrong around that side. So, peeps, 15 year old female student reportedly held with drugs at police station. Charge. Yeah, hey, that's a 15 year old female student has been arrested and charged with possession of ganja after reportedly being found with illegal drugs on the compound of the Denham Town police station. It's a female student, you know, peeps, not a male, you know. 
I don't know, as I tell you, they say them look all the age group here, you know. <laughs> they move like snail. You sight. They move slow. Right now, them fear move fast and advance more than we were there a long time. But it come like we're still up to the time. We're not so light like no lime. But anyway, my people, shooting in Stone Hill Square leaves one man hospitalized. Yeah, we are getting to the nitty gritty now. So one man has been rushed to hospital after a shooting in the tasty parking lot at Stone Hill Square in St. Andrew. The incident occurred around 7.30 p.m. Police investigators are currently on the scene. Right, my people? So this incident happened last night, you know. Yeah, me just bring it like oh Ray, but you don't know Rafa put certain correction to it. So this incident happened last night around 7 30 pm. Right, my people? Just see me where police have no say right now, yeah. You hear me? Get to this man yeah, quick and fast. So peeps child rescued after being washed away by river in St. Mary. Following an incident on Sunday where a child was rescued after being washed away by a river, Member of Parliament for St. Mary's South Eastern, Dr. Norman Dunn, is appealing to parents and guardians to be more attentive. The child was reportedly left unsupervised by family members doing an outing at the Wagwater River in Castleton. This dangerous river here, you know, people, where we see we go away with two persons in you know, a couple of days back. It's like they're now watching news. Yeah, hear me, you see the people that me watch the news, just like and share up the video, please, and thank you very much. Because right now, now, head on the time. You don't know what I go on. A lot of people come like chicken without heads. But anyway, lock up deaths indicative of inhuman conditions, said by attorney. So attorney at law, Clive Monroe Jr., believes the recent death in lock ups are indicative of the deplorable conditions which inmates and correctional officers contend with. The Independent Commission of Investigation says it's now probing three incidents in which detainees died while in custody over the last week. Right? So this is three, you know, people. Yeah, come and see it come up to me yesterday. Evening. But me, I wonder if I the same news, you know, I repeat over and over. Not knowing if it says a fresh one, but the, the last one saying that a beating. Yeah, beating to death. So when police arrive and Looking at his cell right now, them see this man yeah, unresponsive. You know, so them would have to rush him and boy, yeah, you hear me too late. You know, just see me star. Hey, prisoner nice, you know, man, you know, stay far. So, peeps, woman killed by woman after a fight over a man. A 47 year old woman has been stabbed to death by another woman in current age. The victim has been identified as Keisha Blackman of Upper Abbey, Pojade Street. Current age. According to police reports around 4 o'clock this morning, Black Man was proceeding north along Age Street when she noticed her boyfriend in company with another woman. There was a confrontation and it's alleged that the woman drew a knife and stabbed Black Man several times in her chest era before escaping. Well, peeps, this serious. This incident happened in Trinidad. Right, my people? Yes. I would just say, Jaja, I hear me fight over a man. This is a serious thing. So I see where this female son put out, you know, later in the article saying that his mother would, you know, forgive her, you know, if she never did. But anyway, people, they mean not in one world. So former basketball player dies of brain cancer. He was 58. And you know, so that a Motombo. Yeah, man, the Kembe, <laughs> Motombo. So just I say, R.I.P. Condolence goes out to a legend, Jesse B. So peeps, two females died from motor vehicle crashes within hours on Friday. Yes, so two female pedestrians died as a result of injuries. They sustained in separate motor vehicle crashes within six hours in Montego Bay, St. James and the, the corporate era on Friday morning. The deceased have been identified as 52-year-old. Ida Henry of Golden Spring, Kingston 9 and 29 year was Samantha Campbell of a Mount Salem St. James address. Right, my people, and to get more of this update, you can just go over to Loop News. Yeah, my people, yes, right. I don't know, Poop News. Yes, right. Yes, I that I go on to say condolences goes out to the family, friends, and loved ones of the deceased. So, moving over, peeps, who we are toward, I just get caught up. Yes, man. Bryden Street, at Dunkirk. And you know how I go on? A police just, 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 just can him up. Right? So, toward right now, just see me see people are coming right now and say, eh, a lot of persons in me cry. I like person go comment and say, a somebody family member, somebody I feel it and now. And the person go comment and say, right now, you hear me? This brother will go by the name Tawado. 
Him go hard. Just CB. So right now, you hear me? Peeps. The police and him in a some could toss up and me don't know where go on in a peeps. Because right now, nowadays, police not for even a shootout for dirty. You know. They won't go on no say involved in a certain thing and your name keep constantly a calling you know, up people. So that give them a right, you know, which me not say nothing wrong because if you're not getting a trouble, your name not go call. You side, but we just say one of the youths them try to live up. Just no start better on the life at all times and positive. And try to say we have to be progressive at the same time for go out there go try to hunt it. Anyway, the food there because you don't know say family are going to come along the way. And we have to go know say right now we stand up for them. So we just are going to move over now to our next update where several baffled as to how motorcyclist lost his life in Silent Hill. So police officers, relatives, friends and the regular John public are baffled as how to how. 34-year-old Rakish Hansen lost his life on Friday night in Silent Hill. Official reports claim he was killed after he lost control of his motorcycle and crashed. However, the police were unable to locate the motorcycle when they went to what is considered the accident scene. They are investigating if it was removed under <laughs> suspicious circumstances. The motorcycle was eventually recovered, but many are saying it doesn't look like it was involved in an accident right my people see i get a picture at the bike in the police vehicle yes look at that if that look like that in a motor vehicle accident to you your sight because that is a real photo when i tell you like something we put together your sights are right they say look like them i try to tell you now say dirt this money i get dirt you know yeah man this money i get dirt and him bike take away and like police go find it so you don't know the whole measurement but anyway you know just share in the comment section below what uno think because everybody might think different but anyway peeps i am out of that blessing And them for no side, Ja Imeds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?